All right, we are back with another video where we're going to discuss, well, one song out of the 40 that are in the running this year. We provide our thoughts, our score, and then of course the Team United score overall. And next up on our list is Australia. And not sure if it was a shocker or not, but it was for the first time Australia failed to qualify since they joined the contest in 2015, although they were already qualified then directly. But for the first time since they've been in the semis that they did not make the cut. Of course, they want to change it this year. They sent, they're they sending Sheldon Riley, not the same. He won the national final. Now we'll find out, did they make the right call? Are they going to return to the um, finals? Although we're not doing predictions here, but let's find out what our thoughts are. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me on that. And if not, speak out later. But uh, I think this song screams jury, please. All right. And I just I will say, though, I still think the song is strong enough to also be in the top 10 of the televoters in the semis at a minimum. Now, the song and I'm also judging a little bit the performance here, even just the way he sings. Sometimes there are some theatrics in the song visually and vocally that need to be toned down. They need to be toned down and make it more of a genuine performance, because let's be real. The message is impactful. Uh, Sheldon Riley, he connects with the song. It's his story. It's personal. It is real. And I want it to feel that way. So no resort and no need to resort to like cheap gimmicks in my view. And I enjoy the song though. Now I put all that negative out here, but let me then also sum it up. I do enjoy it. Yes. There are other ballads. We have a good amount of them this year um, that I maybe have a stronger emotional connection with it, but that's just how it goes. You can, you know, you connect some more with others, but I think that the fans in Australia, that should be very proud of the effort this year. Uh, it's quality, good vocals, could be a moment. I'm here for it, definitely. And I think this is going to go far. At least that's my thinking. Sean, what do you think? I just want to say uh, with Australia and their selection, God damn, why did they not pick Voyager? Why did they not pick Voyager? They won the Televo, uh, right? Yeah, they, they probably stormed the televote. That was incredible. That would have been my number one of the year. But here we are. Luckily, I think this was probably the second best song in the selection. Um, so once I got over the disappointment of losing Voyager, um, <clears throat> this has really grown on me. Um, I'm going to say it, that this is the best ballad this year. Mm. Out, of, out of every ballad this year, I really think this is my favourite. Um, my score is going to be a little bit on the low side just because of it growing on me. But I think there's just something so uh, raw <clears throat> and emotional about this and something so personal to Sheldon and his story that really comes across in the stage performance. He's a fantastic vocalist. Um, and I think a lot of people are sleeping on this one. I think the juries are going to love it. Um, it's got actual sort of replay value for me, which is very rare for me in the ballad. So um, there's a lot to this that I like. I think he's going to really sell this on stage and I think it's, it's going to do better than people think. I was, I was really impressed with this. I do still wish it was Voyager just because they rocked, but, you know, I'd, I'd happily take this as the second best. All right. Roy. Yeah. Um, Voyager <laughs> should have 100% won that selection. I love when you saw yeah. It's usually not a good start, <laughs> yeah. so let's see what this takes. So. Um, look, Sheldon has an amazing voice, and that is the selling point of this song to me. Also kind of where it ends. It's, it's, I, I get what they were going for, and I get that people do compare it to Duncan Lawrence, but I, I just, I just have to read out the lyrics of this chorus. Um, <clears throat> here we go. I'm not the same. No. I'm not the same. No. I'm not the same. No. <laughs> I'm not the same. No. Yeah, and, and that's just really not cutting it for me. Like, that is the entire chorus. Like, really? Just one line, repeat it four times, and that's it? That's what you're going to do? Like, I, I just really wish that that was more and just kind of infuriates me in a way. And uh, it could have been better. I could have loved it more. And, and I just, it, it's, it's just such a thing that I can't really put myself over it. That being said, Sheldon Riley, an amazing vocal performer, and he will do well with the jury. So I have no doubt about that, and he'll probably do well in the competition too. I just wish the song was better, because like he, as a talent, could have been a potential winner. This song, mm. not it. Not it. Okay. Sebastian, where do you end up? It's much better than Montaigne. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm happy to see that Australia probably will be on Grand Final. It's for me quite clear in this case. 
I I can agree with Roy in some instance about the building up of the song, especially the chorus. But still, vocally, technically, he's one of the best. Top three, probably. So it should be the biggest game changer in case of his performance. I can also agree with you, Matt, that some elements should be not that theatrical, maybe not that in your face, because it can not work out properly with lots of people who are going to watch this for the first time ever. But still, taking into consideration that he's, this is his style, he has uh, Asperger's syndrome, we can also need to have this bigger background of it, what is happening. So I admire this try from Australia, and hopefully it's going to do very, very well. But everything depends also on the staging, which hopefully won't suck. Okay. It's all nice and well, all your comments, but I only care about your scores. So let's hear them. Well, actually, I should go first since I was the first one that felt like sharing the thoughts. And I don't think it comes to surprise that my score is not horrible. As I pointed out, some songs I um, could jive with better, emotionally connect better. But Sebastian made a great point about his life story, his Asperger's, and how, what that song means. It's his style, so you got to accept for what it is. Overall, 7.5 for me. It's a good, good song. Sean. Um, I just picking up on the lyrical point. I think that the beauty of it is in the verses rather than the chorus. Um, I think it's it, it's not really something you can pick up on when we look at Poland's lyrics, for example. Sorry, Sebastian, but um, yeah, <laughs> I just, just it, I, I, th I think there's more to it than just the chorus. So, um, but for me, um, I, I gave it a six. I would give it more now, um, but still a six for a ballad for me. That's pretty good. So, oh, yeah, well, from a guy who is not going big for ballads, that's you know. I think you should take it and run with it, Australia. Yeah. Uh, Roy. Yeah, I definitely agree with uh, Sean with the verses being way better. It's just that the chorus is your main selling point and then, yeah, it's just being repetitive. Okay. Um, like I said, it's really Sheldon's voice that really drags it up for me and I can't really give this um, too low either. Um, that would just be unfair. So I still end up giving it a 6.5 and I think that's quite a fair point. It is. It's more than Sean, interestingly yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give it, Wait, based it on like, the comments, you wouldn't yeah, think that was good. I mean, I'd give it like a 7.5, maybe even pushing higher now, but... Uh, that's lesson learned next panel. time. That's the rules. Yep. Sebastian? Eurovision is a perfect place for ballads like this. I believe that we don't have that much composed ballads this year, so I really enjoy it. I guess it's really solid song, professional one, well recorded, very well synced. So for me, solid eight. Hey, the highest score out of the four of us. Not by much, but still. But there's more than just Sebastian's score, of course. There are plenty of other folks on ESC United that voted, and I am ready to give you that overall score for Australia. And that score is 6.29. So once again, I think technically Roy, you're the closest. No, actually, Roy and Sean, you're kind of like in there. So, Sean, I know you would have given it a higher score now. Are you okay though with this, or you think like, okay, maybe it's partially my fault yeah, for being higher? That's that's about where I would have pitched this, considering everyone's sort of varied tastes and and where they'd see things. Some people will love this. Some people will think this is just boring you know not not trash maybe not trash but like I, I know there's people that will give this like a three or a four just mm -hmm. won't get it so that's about where i would have thought it would have averaged out that's fine i would assume it. you're in agreement with that roy based on your score yeah I, I maybe expected it to be a bit higher like i think that it would have a few more like people that really connect with it that being said there's been like a quite a few ballads this year that a lot of people might connect more with so yeah i get that it kind of ended up in, in the lower echelons i guess now you sebastian you must be disappointed or if that's what you kind of saw coming that you were maybe in the minority here i saw it coming i believe there are lots of people who love australia how would how would this how it's build up but also <laughs> i'm trying to be realistic in this case <laughs> so I, I also understand that my love is not that think very common for the most yeah. of the tastes so yeah that's how the cookie crumbles that's our score for australia but let's put some context to it here's the list of all the songs that we have reviewed so far this is where australia falls so let us know what your thoughts are how many points the song deserves in the comment section ah uh, and uh just give us a few minutes we'll be back soon with the next video oh, it will be a few hours for you once the video goes up but you get what i'm saying <laughs>